Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a tasty batch of chocolate Rice Krispie treats. These tasty little treats are good for any occasion and I know probably you're saying anybody can make Rice Krispie squares and absolutely so. But what I'm doing here today is putting together this delicious little recipe you can have for Valentine's, you can have for your birthday, make it with your kids or your grandkids. If this interests you and you like to know what it is, stick around and let's get started. So of course what I got here is a few simple ingredients. Most of us probably already got it in our homes. This is four, four cups of, four to five cups I'm going to say, of Rice Krispies. I'm, I only use just a regular um, cup, measuring cup. And this is four cups of marshmallows. And this is the way that I measured them. So there's nothing fancy. I just put a few in there like that. To me, that's a cup and then I tossed it in. So four cups of marshmallows and five cups of Rice Krispies. A quarter of a cup of unsalted butter and one and a little of some uh, chocolate chips. So when making these uh, chocolate Rice Krispie treats, have everything measured. Have extra uh, small amount of uh, this here is margarine, uh, just so that you can put it on your spatula for when you're spreading out the Rice Krispies and the marshmallows. A piece of parchment paper to fit into a nine by nine inch pan. So again, have everything ready to go and you, you'll know why once we get started. So let's take this to the stove top and get, get making these chocolate Rice Krispie treats. So what we're going to do first, we're going to put the quarter of a cup of the unsalted butter into our saucepan and it's a medium saucepan and I got some butter put on or some margarine actually onto this, you could put butter, it doesn't matter, um, just to keep the spatula and this is a silicone spatula, um, nice and, and oiled because it's easier for mixing this together. So once this butter is melted, not cooked, we'll toss in our marshmallows. That's all we need to do there. After the butter is melted, pop in your marshmallows. So what we're going to do here now is stirring occasionally, staying with the pot until these marshmallows are melted into that warm butter right there. And that's it. So as you can see, the marshmallows is starting to melt there now. And let them melt just a little bit more before we start mixing in there our Rice Krispies. But that's the next stage. So when you see that it's, it's all melted like this, you're going to turn off your heat, move, the damp, move your uh, saucepan off the damper, just a smidgen, and start mixing in there your Rice Krispies. Pretty much right now at this stage, you're working fast. You want to make sure that all of the Rice Krispies are mixed in with the marshmallows and you've got it all evenly coated. And that's why I said have all your ingredients mixed and ready. We're even doing a snap, crackle and pop here now, Raymond, because <laughs> you can hear those, yeah. you can hear those uh, Rice Krispies popping. Yeah. Now I'm going to put this um, glass uh, pan onto that warm damper because I want for the Rice Krispies and the marshmallows to spread because I'm going to be putting the chocolate chips on there as well. So we're more or less saying it's snap, crackle, pop, delicious. Well, that, <laughs> and make sure you got butter on your spatula so you can spread that out like this. And now, I'll show you what's next. After you've done that, spread your 
your um, chocolate chips out over the Rice Krispie top and the heat from the Rice Krispies there now and the heat from the pan coming up will melt these chocolate chips and we'll talk a little bit about that. So after you've tossed the, the chocolate chips over the top and you see that they're starting to melt you're going to spread it. If it looks like it's not melting then I'm going to tell you what you can do to get them to melt. So if you find that it didn't um, melt for you on the stove top with or just while you poured it over the top, put it in the oven um, at the oven first for about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, turn it off, put it in there for 30 seconds, take it out. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So pretty much all you want to do is just melt that chocolate over the top. So it could work both ways for you. Then take yourself a knife or get yourself a knife and put indents down to measure out the size that you want to cut your tasty chocolate um, Rice Krispie treats. Do the same the other way. And this is the indents that you would use for cutting it when you're ready to do so. And that's all you need to do there. Nifty. I just had a little taste of that chocolate and I know Raymond's not gonna tell me if I got it on my mouth or anything, but that's okay. So I hope you fell, uh, followed along those steps because uh, you're making rice, uh, a Rice Krispie base. We don't need to cook it. So basically, if the chocolate chips didn't melt for you while the, the mixture was warm, then heat up your oven to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, turn it off, pop your uh, pan in there for 30 seconds, then take it out and spread the chocolate and then make those indents. Now I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're cut and I'm gonna show you a few treats that's why we're calling them treats, that you could make for a special occasion. So I got some done here in advance and I got them put into these uh, muffin sleeves. And I'm gonna show you that a little closer. And over here to the side, when you're ready to take out your, your mixture, you pick, bring it up with, I got my hand in the way. Bring it up like this, put it onto the countertop. I can't do it right now because it's warm. And then it makes it easier for you to cut them like this into whatever size you like. In this case, I didn't want it into squares. I want it a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do here, I want to make this sleeve into a heart. If I want to do it for Valentine's, and of course, you just make the little indent and then you got yourself a downtime heart you put your the treat on there and then take a toothpick and put in the bottom like this and then you got the treat that is easily to handle like this um, you can put it into your fancy little downtime heart box um, which this is one that Raymond gave me last year and I just put some parchment paper in the bottom you could put it in there separate like this or you could make it up with some plastic over it, tie a little bow and put it in there and then you got a little treat for a gift for a loved one or for kids and you can do the same thing for a birthday put the color on it that you wish and wrap it singular and I'll show you how to do that so pretty much you're just going to take your chocolate rice crispy treat put it over like this wrap it down take a little ribbon of whatever type and just tie it to make yourself a little treat for a friend or for yourselves as a special occasion and then like you said put it into a valentine's box and then give it to them that way or just keep it out on the counter like this individual and that's all or put it into a container a plastic container uh, uh, to, with a lid and just keep them on your countertop until they're all gone which for air is not going to be very long <laughs>
you can believe that. And for that's sure. it. This yep. is as good as it gets. I hope this recipe excites you to make it uh, with your loved ones or your grandkids, your kids. Um, me and Raymond, we just love doing things like this and giving them out as gifts to our neighbours and, and friends. So if this interests you, we're going to share the recipe with you. And we're also on our website www.bandidaskitchen.com. I'll give you step by step of what we did here today, plus taking it out of this container, out of the pan, and cutting it. So as you can see that. Right now it's off, so I'm not going to do it. But this gives you the end result. If that interests you, you can find more information there. This very quick and easy recipe is also going to be available here on YouTube and under this video is either see more or an arrow pointing down. And again, if you can't find it there, send me a message at bonnetakitchen at gmail.com. We're not going to take any more of your time. We know it's precious and we're going to thank each and every one of you for spending a little bit of it with us here today. On behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, and from our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. And don't day. forget to join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Join us by the sea A journey in culinary Always an open door Kitchen to yours. The neatest kitchen. The neatest kitchen. The neatest kitchen. To yours.